Hello everyone and welcome to another Pal World video. My name is Brian if you happen to be new to my channel and I have been really enjoying playing Pal World, especially playing this game with my kids. And I've noticed them having a couple of different struggles when it comes to playing this game. So I figured I would sit down today, go over some tips and tricks, especially as it relates to using the controller and a PlayStation controller. We'll show you that here in just in a second, as well as just give you guys some general thoughts about what you can do to truly make your gameplay experience as, you know, as preferable as possible. I prefer playing video games with control and how world is optimized so incredibly well. So this is gonna act as both an overview, but also some good general tips and tricks for playing this game. You can see here, I'm using an Xbox, uh, you know, like elite series controller that gives me back paddles, gives me the ability to do a lot of dodging real easy without having to take uh, aim <laughs> off of a target. So if you have the access to one of these kind of controllers, I highly recommend it, but there's a lot of different controllers that work and this game also works in this case for PlayStation controllers. If I just go ahead and plug in my PlayStation controller, it usually takes roughly a couple seconds and then you're ready to rock and roll. It is plug and play. However, if we pull up the settings and options, you do not have the ability to swap the different face buttons for any of these values. It's still going to use the Xbox icons and naming conventions. And as long as you understand what that translates to, you're gonna be perfectly fine and you're not gonna have any kind of issue with that whatsoever. But let's go into it. Let's talk about what you can do, how to use the game and the controls the best of your ability. So first and foremost, traversal is important. I think one of the first tips that I do always wanna point out, especially as it relates to my kid, figure out a, what kind of weapon you want. Uh, make sure you have an ax, make sure you have a torch and make sure you have a pick ax. These are basically your four best essentials when playing the game. And if you press down as a click on the left stick, it's gonna act as your sprint, but it's also going to then deduct from your stamina. Now, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and engage some uh, pals over here. Holding down the left trigger, we'll enter in aim mode and they do some natural assistance. So this is actually very comfortable for kids, especially like starting out at five and six, they should be able to get this knocked out pretty well. And then holding down the right trigger, we'll actually do an aim. Now, if I was using a melee weapon, right trigger would act as my base attack. And you can use your axe, your pickaxe, to go farm up pals as well. And this also works when farming up various different materials. Swapping your, uh, your weapon base or your tool is as simple as pressing the Y button. And it is very easy to jump through uh, basically those different options. Now, if you have more different types of pal balls, pressing down on, this, uh, on the D-pad will swap those. You can interact with various different items and things in the world by holding the X button. And you can also beat this tree with a, a torch if you want, but it's not gonna be as efficient. What you wanna do is find the right tool for the job. And that way you'll start your farming. Now, you can see here, I have a pal that is out and about and doing his thing. I can change that pal anytime by hitting left and right on the D-pad and then pressing left bumper to recall and summon out the pal. And that is going to go ahead and follow me around. If I wanna go into building mode, I can press up on the D-pad and then I'm gonna see the various different radial menu options. It's gonna tell you if I have the materials that I need. And ultimately, if I do, I can go ahead and build a various different thing out in the world. Holding X to complete the build and then being able to hit X to interact with it and make other various different items. You can always, when you're doing your crafting, pull up this and you can press Y to maximize out the total number of items that you're making. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and make several arrows because I actually really enjoy how aiming and shooting the bow works in this game. Now let's go ahead and try to catch a couple of pals out here in the wild. But if you hold down the right R3 button, you can actually bring up your pet commands, command non-attack, command focus on the same enemy, command attack aggressively, as well as various different emotes. And that's gonna be how you engage with your pals in this case. Throwing the right bumper is gonna be how you summon your pal ball. You wanna to try to get the pals to as low as possible and also it has an advantage of if you are attacking from behind as well it will tell you your percentage chance huh. 
and success. Now, a few other controls for you as you explore, pressing the select or back button will bring up your map and you can see how far you've explored or pressing the start button will bring up your inventory party technology menus as well as your pal deck now one of the things that i've seen my kids struggle with is how to use items and eat food being that this is a survival rpg game so if you go and hover over the items uh, you can press y to use any of the items and you can go ahead and feed yourself that way Jumping into the technology section, just as kind of some final tips and tricks, be sure to continue to unlock various different technologies. This will help you in your base building and your progress throughout the base of the game. And that is pretty much it. Using the left and right bumpers will help navigate the menus. And all in all, like this is one of perhaps the most intuitive controller out of the gate games. Now, before I let you go, there's still a lot that you can actually do and you can fully customize your own control settings. You're gonna see a tab and it's usually gonna to default to keyboard even if you are playing on controller, but you can right bumper over into from the controls into controller pad. Here, you'll be able to remap any of the options that you want. Let's say you wanna remap your aim or your change weapon button. You can press A to select it and then you can pick which button that you want it to use or you can cancel by hitting the close button. So by default, I have found these controls to be the absolute most comfortable, but yeah, at the end of the day, find out what works best for you. So that way you have all the tools necessary to enjoy the games that you play. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you feel like it earns it, hit that like button and perhaps hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to join the channel here. We are almost, well, not almost, but we're coming up closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers. And I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you got something good out of this video. I enjoyed making this video and I've got more Pal World guides on the horizon, especially some other guides for some other survival RPGs on the way as well. So hopefully you guys are doing well out there. Hopefully I will see you in the next video, but until then, take care.